Eddie Tomlin is one of the Americans who got a job last month. It builds you up. It builds you up. Especially when you earn it your money. But his success isn't translating into long term momentum for the American economy. The final jobs report before the election shows the pandemic's financial recovery losing momentum. The U.S. Labor Department reported 661,000 new jobs in September. That's 140,000 fewer jobs than expected. And the inability to get people back to work is inhibiting our economic recovery. Pennsylvania's Chamber of Business and Industry represents thousands of business owners. The the CEO told us businesses large and small are having trouble filling openings, both because workers are concerned about catching COVID and high skill workers are scarce. Equip people with the skills they need to become more successful. It's become abundantly clear in this economy and in this society today that simply having a high school diploma is not enough. In Pennsylvania, the unemployment rate sits at 10.3%. The cost is more than economic. We know we see more suicides more deaths by overdose, more domestic abuse cases by having people out of work. When you're not working and you're not providing, it brings you down. Right now across the country, 7.9% of Americans are unemployed. Now that is down significantly from the peak back in April when nearly 15% were unemployed. But 7.9%, that is the highest unemployment rate that we have seen going into an American election since we started keeping track of unemployment back in 1948. It's the latest from Montgomery County. I'm Mitch Blocker, NBC 10 News.